Today we need to get into an alleged fans doing a mass refund of Golden and what happened there. We need to get into Jungkook believed to be spotted on a date before the military. And then we have footage shown of Jungkook behind the scenes during an interview. So you don't please it's Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your zone blend, a tasteful mug merch, and let's go. We need to get into what is believed to be surveillance footage. It's actually not surveillance, but people are saying it as that because it's behind the scenes footage that was never supposed to come out and never was supposed to be known. However, it's not bad footage or anything like that. So what happened? A little while ago, BTS sort of took a hiatus as a group around 2021. They were doing press with James Corden, I believe. This was an interview that was not in person, but maybe either a live stream or pre-recorded. People think this particular clip with James was either a behind the scenes clip that wasn't supposed to come out or leaked. Reason being is because the clip is nowhere to be found on James's official YouTube channel, I believe. But no, you can definitely still find it online even if you can't find it there. And the clips showed a cameraman going backstage into what it looks like backstage at James's filming studio, but was likely just in Korea. And James was speaking to the members. First off, when the cameraman entered the room, the first thing everyone noticed was Jungkook's hip thrust, which James commented on to say that when things have been remote due to COVID for such a long time, you do things like that. Of course, he is joking. James also left an incredibly beautiful message telling BTS and the fans that James and his team have been very excited to host BTS and have been a part of BTS's journey for such a long time. And yes, they were one of the first K-pop acts that I think even James had ever hosted. And then it's so strange now when there are international idols or celebrities that go on air now or are on screen, it doesn't seem abnormal anymore. And I say this as like when I used to watch TV and I saw other races besides white, I would think it must be non-mainstream channel because the mainstream never had Asian faces. So I'm very glad that changed. Now, why am I bringing up this clip with James and BTS right now? Well, armies were surveilling the video and going frame by frame and found a moment where Jungkook was eating during the live interview. However, he wasn't eating normally or even eating in a way that was obvious. He was trying very hard to hide that he was eating. So he was taking like a small bite of food and then standing straight pretending like everything was normal. People thought this was absolutely hilarious and people were saying that they quote unquote caught him. They caught him like security footage. But in reality, he is aware that people are going to meme that. During the trainee process, the idols are taught that everything they do will be broken down and looked into very intensely when they get famous. They can just choose not to care or use it as part of their personality. Not to say it's not part of Jungkook's personality to be goofy. It is, but a lot of people try to hide their goof when being an idol. This is Jungkook's way of showing that side of him and making him relatable and funny. This is why it very much hurts me so much when I hear that people are mass protesting Jungkook and recently trying to get a refund on his album, cancel his album order, or even just picketing people who are purchasing it. And you might be wondering why people would do such a thing. Well, apparently a hashtag started to trend recently and all I have to say is that the boys are enlisted. Why trend things now? Like even trending things like Hive treated such and such member terribly, what's the point now? It's not even like Hype can make it up now, they're enlisted. It's these trends that make it very obvious to me. It has never been about getting Hype to take quote unquote accountability because if Hype does apologize, people will say it's not good enough anyway. And if they don't apologize, people will continue to trend hateful things to Hype even though there's nothing Hype can do right now. There was a specific trend that was getting people to cancel or refund Golden by Jungkook, which was Hype out with Zionism or some trend along those lines. If you are unaware what this movement is, it's because of an ongoing war right now. There's opposing sides and Zionist is one of the sides in the war right now. Naturally, you'll have a quote unquote winning side and side that the mass public is rooting for. And then you'll have the other side that the mass public is not. Zionism is the one that a lot of people are upset about. Specifically, John Cook's American producers on his album seem to support that side. Specifically, very famous person Scooter Braun who worked directly with John Cook. So the fandom will take that moment and attempt to cancel Jungkook and his album. Now, I want to say this. I believe there's a lot of people in K-pop who genuinely are upset over issues. Like K-pop is their life, but they are also involved or believe in other causes outside of K-pop. And I feel like that is a normal obsession level to have K-pop in your life and maybe even the majority of your life, but it cannot be your entire life. You have to have other interests or even just be aware of the other things happening in the world. It's not a flex to say that you can list every K-pop group in the last three years, but not who, let's say the Kardashians,
Kardashians are. Because the Kardashians have also changed the world in a very different way, but still. And whether good or bad, it's up to you to debate. But people on X were posting that Hybe needs to be punished for working with Zionists. And I think this is a very odd standpoint to have because the people who post about canceling Hybe over Zionism will have zero posts about Zionism outside of Hybe or even the war in general on their page. They will have zero posts replying to Scooter Braun or even making a hashtag to cancel him. If he is the issue or the several other producers are the issue, then why not tweet at them? Tweeting at the company who chose to hire these producers is very odd because companies try their hardest and hire and work with people outside of politics. That's the goal. They can get sued. Whatever your beliefs are should be at the door when you go to work. They're not going to vet people and ask them for their political beliefs or hiring them. So if you're upset with the producer's political views, tweet at those people. But they're not doing that because it's not about Zionism. It's about wanting attention. In which case, they have no case and won't ever actually get any real action from Hype. I absolutely love Jungkook's album. And if you do want to see reactions from me on some of the songs on the album, check out the Patreon. I will link at the top of the description. We have a great time fangirling and doing all of the things there. I really hope Jungkook gets these people off their back because it's quite stressful to always have to look behind you because there's a group of people always trying to run a hate train on you. It's a really odd type of stress that I hope scientists can do a study on. Also, when your life is on full display, it's hard not to have things that a hater could use against you. For example, Jungkook was allegedly in Japan right before he enlisted and people thought he was doing something very interesting, which was not exactly true. There's been this ongoing debate on Jimin and Jungkook dating and some of these subset people in the subculture can sometimes get pretty vicious. You don't want to mess with them. But every time they see Jungkook somewhere with Jimin, they tend to freak out. I think it's a date or that they're kissing somewhere sometime before the photograph was taken or whatever. So in this one particular moment, there was a paparazzi photo of Jungkook and Jimin and his arms around Jungkook. This was very likely at the airport and people were like, oh my god, their relationship is real. Now, I don't believe that they're necessarily dating. I do think they probably did take some time for themselves before enlisting. There was a moment during the enlistment ceremony video and even the last BTS live stream they did where Taeyeon talked about having pre recorded content. And I think it's very interesting how none of the other members chimed in to say that they did too. Not to say that it means that they didn't pre-record anything, but them not saying it could mean that they don't, which to me implies that the very last appearances we saw, unless there was a TV broadcast or anything like that, has already come out, then their flight were basically just vacation. I do want to preface that there was a rumor that they were filming a documentary, but that is just a rumor and I wouldn't see that they would need to go to Japan for a documentary. A documentary is reality based. So they would then be re-recording something that happened before in Japan. That's more of a reality show slash TV show vibe than it would be a documentary. So I don't know, but it makes sense for both Jimin and Jungkook to go and have a bit of a break. And then they both can just decide that they are just going to enlist in a buddy system together. And I wholeheartedly believe that let's say it was Jimin who suggested doing that. No matter who Jimin was with before the enlistment, he would have asked them to consider the buddy system. It just so happens that Jungkook and Jimin were both together and enjoying their time that it makes sense why they go together. I don't think they're doing anything particularly romantic in Japan because also why go to Japan to do that? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.